bullshit is in full force today. Welcome to episode 20 of Star Fox Adventures. Yay! We almost got killed last time. Yep, that was the first of three Lightfoot games. Now we've got two more games to play, but first, something absolutely bullshit that the game tells us nothing about that we just have to figure out from a guide I read online, which right now I am reading. Because... <laughs> You you have no idea what we have to do right now. Do we have to shoot fire in all these silly things? No. Do we have to throw buffom dads in them? No. Do we have to tricky? No. Okay. It's really just the game just flat out doesn't tell you. You got to figure it out on your own, but you have no idea. So you're given free reign of the village, but there's only some certain places you can go. It's very very restrictive. We can go down this ladder here. Mm -hmm. Best way to get down. All right. First thing we're going to do is, uh, let's see here. We're just taking a look around first, because like I said, the game is going to be very, very unclear about a lot of things coming up. The bullshit is in full swing. Fine. First thing is right here. Thing? Yes. Collecting? What's this? What's this the trick you just found? <gasps> something new, something exciting. A wooden block carving. <laughs> what in the hell am I gonna do with the wooden block carving? Oh no. Well, great. I have no context for this or anything at all. I mean, I have nothing. <laughs> so we have to go around. Uh, apparently, find multiple wood block carvings and then do but something then! with them. But then, shouldn't we take a look around? <laughs> there may be a Kazoa spirit here. Well, actually, uh, that sounds great, but I'm leaving. Yeah, fuck this place. We're going back to Thorntail Hollow. I don't need. To, I don't need to be here. I don't need this bullcrap. We're just. We're just leaving. Eh, uh, maybe we should go back. I mean, we found the wooden carving and all. Maybe we should, but the gate's closed. How do you think we get back in? Huh? I don't get it. Interesting. So we hit those three, we get back into the village. I just want to show that off in case you decide to leave the village and come back. Gotcha, gotcha. So, that's shown off. Let's get back to the real quest. Cool. Now, do you have to hit those trees in a specific order? Yeah. Ugh. It's it's always that order, though, so make sure you oh. memorized it. Good, good. It's not going to be like that block puzzle we had in the underwater place, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. All right, so, yeah, still looking for those, uh, wooden block carvings. Hidden in three spots around here. Yeah. All right, so three carvings to do what? That's the thing the game doesn't tell you. What do you do with them? Oh. The answer is simple, but the fact the game doesn't tell you is what annoys me. Hmm. Like, is it just abstract, obtuse? Is it so simple that you can't believe you didn't get it? It's... You'll see. Right now we'll just focus on finding this shit. Okay, okay. This is, this is also really kind of a good way to get a feel for the village before you start running around in it. Uh, okay. Because yep. we're going to need to know a lot of it. That probably wasn't intentional, but hey, it works. So, behind that, we found another wooden block carving. Oh, it's in the shape of a cube! Find a hole where the shape can be placed. I mean, that's so vague. That doesn't tell me anything. See ya, Tricky. So, total pull up here, but we can't really stick our staff in there yet. Hmm. Don't know why. Interesting. So now the question is, where the hell is that pesky last dig spot? So I'm gonna heat. I'm gonna have a Tricky's find secret hotkeyed, so that way if it lights up, I'll be able to find it automatically. Oh, you can't just like 
go up into a specific place or like any place and just press it and he'll go for it? He has to be nearby or like nearby a secret for him to go do something to it with. Oh, okay. Like something to dig or something to look at, whatever. Because at that point, you could probably just say, Tricky, win game. And there you go. Not doing it! Oh, come on! How many mushrooms do I need to shove down your throat before you play the game for me? Ew. <laughs> How many mushrooms do I have to feed you in order for you to play the game for me? Can we not say mushroom? Uh, how much food? How many fun guys do we got? No, that's not better either. Hmm. All right, so a little bit of skipping ahead, and I now know where the last dig spot is. We had to do a lot of walking around. Here it is, in the top right corner of the map. Oh, good. Having a Lightfoot Village map is very crucial in two instances, really. This one and in the first of two games we're going to be playing. So. The, now we got three blocks. It doesn't tell us that we need to find any more. You just have to know that there's three. And now we don't even know where to put these things. So we have an indeterminate number of wooden block carvings. We don't know if we've got them all yet. And we got to put them someplace where we don't even know where they are yet. But I looked at the guide, so I know where they are now. <laughs> you cheater. Well, if you're watching this and you need help on the game, you're cheating too. Oh, yes. uh -huh, okay, okay. So I'll take this time to talk about the two games we're going to be playing. They're bullshit. Absolute, absolute bullshit. It's heinous, it's awful, and... Oh, God. Let me ask this before you solve it. Do you need to go up to every totem pole... Figure out which one needs which shape, and then insert the block. Nah, they're right there. What? Like these little these little parts right here, these little holes. That's where you got to put these blocks. Really? Yep. Right there. But, but those are wooden blocks in stone holes. Game doesn't tell you shit. I mean, I can kind I, I can kind of see your angle where it's like kind of imply that that's what you need to do, but... And here's here's what's worse. <laughs> what happened? Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> did, it, did anything happen? I didn't see anything happen. Help. There's no cinematic or anything. Did anything happen at all? Well, yes. Something did happen. <gasps> if you look behind one of these... Uh, one of these. If you look in the water closely, you can see that some platforms have raised. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's what that did. I don't know why that wasn't a cinematic. I mean, that is cinematic for every other fucking thing in this game. I don't know why they couldn't do this. But this allows us to get up onto this platform on here, which is very crucial to getting to the rest of the goddamn village. So, these, uh, Lightfoots or, uh, whatever are in here, they don't need these? I guess not, because they're Lightfooted? I don't know why that they had them in the first place. Uh, Just to mess know. with foreigners. Another totem pole. Hmm. Mm. I wonder, what that, wonder what that could mean. Da -da. Is that to is that totem pole the same thing? I mean, okay. There's another. There's one totem pole. There's two totem pole. There's three totem pole. I see so far. <gasps> they make a triangular. Hmm. Well then, let's see. Nothing in this house. Maybe we can just... Oh, here we go. A ladder. Tune, <laughs> Tune in next week for Star Fox Adventures where we and find out what's across here. Go. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no! <laughs> go back and do it again. You know you want to. Okay. Slowly. Carefully. And... All right. We got it. Took you an entire day to get back there. I know. Oh, not you again. Stab. We know you didn't take our treasure, so just go away. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm getting flashbacks so, of Conker's Bad Fur Day here. Yep. Spirits, eh? How did he know that? Yes, I am. Hmm. So maybe I help you, eh? Hey. You see, we keep a You're Canadian? from the shop class. Nice. Is a mighty yeah. 
Some say it was built by the Krizor. Do you want to see? Spoilers is a Krizor shrine underneath this village. Duh, <gasps> you mean under Christian. the water? Of course <sighs> we want to see that. Not so fast. Only if you complete the life. Yeah, that's a plot twist or not? <laughs> Light foot tests. <laughs> oh, good. Two of the hardest things in well, the game. Not 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 the hardest, but two of the do hardest. But do they involve tricky? No. Take a look oh, good. at this. There's two tests: the tracking test Holy and the test of strength. Shit. We're going with the tracking test first. Activate all four totem poles within the Lightfoot Village, and we gotta beat it within two minutes thirty seconds. And that time goes quick, man. Real quick. Oh man. Activate all four totem poles before time runs out. Go. All right, here I go. <laughs> so the camera zooms off towards the first totem pole, so that's where we're going first. But if you also look on your map, you can see tiny red dots where the totem poles actually are. That's why it's very crucial to bring the map to this area. Uh, okay, good. I hope good. I hope this song sounds familiar too. Bit. It's the ending credits thing that I have. Anyway, yeah. uh, that's that's one down, and uh, do not go up the ladder because the totem pole up there doesn't count. What? It doesn't count because you can't stick your staff in it, so it doesn't count. There's three others around this village we gotta find. There's a second one right there. So you're telling me. There's a grand total of five? Four. Oh, well. There's five totem poles in this village, four of which you can activate with your staff okay. like that. Thank you. The one you were tied to is not the total, not a totem pole. It's just something that looks a lot like a totem pole, but seriously isn't. It's like the off-brand that you get in Mexico. Yeah. And if you look closely, a minute's already, more than a minute's already gone by. Good lord. Hurry up. Yeah, that time goes fast, man. So I see the third one over there, you know. We obviously know where one is because of the boost pad, so I'm thinking once we find that third one, we're good. And jump off the edge. Whoa. Nope, not quite. Good, good. How do you get over there? Hmm. Maybe I can figure something out. Will you like will you stop that? He dove into the water to hit me. You're just an overall amazing individual, Fox. I'm, I'm just getting the crap kicked out of me trying to get these things set up. Oh, see wow. right. Oh, there we go. See it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There oh, we go. Oh, I would never have guessed it. And you're out of time. I am out of time. I am so out of time it hurts. Ouch. I don't think I've ever been more out of time than I am right now. That's three. I know where the last one is, but a lot of fucking good it's going to do. Two, one, one and dead. fuck off. You start gnawing at your neck. Now they just laugh at you because you're a dick. Ah, you have failed the test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, well. That face. Oh, shoot. Activate Guess I'll try again. Before time runs out. And don't worry, this is the ultimate run. So here we go for real this time. Jumps right into the water. Duff! <laughs> now I'm just waiting for like Fox to start sprinting backwards. Like you're you're bugging out the game at this point where you had to lose the first time, but now you're just gonna start like Fox's head is gonna be on his feet. So there's one already. Now we can move quickly to the second one, which is in the water. Quickly, roll that shit. Ocarina of time, this bitch. Yeah, crap, crap, hot, hot, <laughs> hot, hot, right. hot. Up, up, and there's two. Good. All right, minute forty-six left. Let's keep going. All right, all right. I don't know why I'm going this way. But I'm gonna just follow the water perimeter. Excellent. See, these are the MLG Pro Strats of Star Fox Adventures I expect from you. All right. Because now we follow the water, we're automatically here, making great time. Yes! 
See, we got it. We got a pattern. We got uh, we, we got a system, and now we can get that fourth one with a great minute and fourteen seconds to go. Beautiful. What other? And we take? know exactly where it is too. We do. Well, yeah, it's the one behind that burn wall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So I gotta follow the perimeter again to figure out where that is now. And I noticed uh, it's a lot easier if you walk in the water. Yeah. Faster, too. And then, here we are. Yes! Excellent. This, uh, having the map will help it turn from a two-hour-long thing into a two-minute-long thing. Wait, and there you go. Wait, how long have we been doing this? Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> well done, he still boss. laughs. You have I don't get that. Well, yeah, he's a dick. Very good. And now for the second hardest test. Oh. The test of strength. Uh-oh. You have to re repeatedly mash A against him. Well, but... you, you're good at this. Oh, this one is really difficult, though, because Musclefoot does not fuck around. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see how strong All right, you uh, stretch out the arms. Come you on. Gotta make sure that uh, you, uh, you know, tap it really quickly. Use a spoon if you have to. You know, I mean, uh, this, this is going to take a lot of practice, so here we go. And... Uh, done! Wow. Done! Awesome! I was kidding, the test effect is actually really piss easy. I was about to say, that didn't look difficult at all. In fact, I really hope there was a pit of spikes at the bottom of that hole. <laughs> so you'd actually feel bad for losing. <laughs> and we'll never see you again. Really? I don't know. Oh. Don't get my hopes up like that. <laughs> we didn't suspect a thing. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> Bring in General Scales. We can now take everything they own. I knew this fox disguise would come in handy. Yeah, why don't they do that? General Scales is not one for brains. Ah, uh, he's all power and scales. I think so. <gasps> he's got a claw hand, though. You think it'd be like General Claw or something? I'll get you next time, McCloud. Next time. I mean, when you have the time. Shut great and totem. Another goddamn totem pole. Sick of seeing these things. A lot of crates, a lot of boxes. Hmm. But wait, there's more! There is. Plenty more, actually. <gasps> I feel so clever! Oh, I s oh. Something going on here. I don't get it. Explain to me. Aha! A button! A button to boop. Yeah. Button booped. Oh. Wait, what? And now, the fun begins. The fun? Test your aiming accuracy. Oh, and your timing. No. Oh, yep. God. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Why? <laughs> oh. Oh. If you hit, if you shoot it wrong, it stays in place, and you gotta shoot it again to make it move in again. But if you get it right, you do that. Oh, it, it at least tells you that you got it right. And when you got it, yeah, the game is telling me stuff again. I'm happy. Oh come on! It's moving quickly, man. You gotta be a better timer than that. The bullets move slowly too. You. I mean, it's not like you know. A gun where it's like bang, and then whatever's over the across the street is automatically dead. But general, why can't I use my blaster? This one moves like hurling a chicken at a totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Fox, you should have taken those lessons at the shooting range. But I would be fine if I had my blaster. You can't use your blaster, Fox. But you it's told out. me to go to the shooting range. It's out of bullets. Good. It's a blaster! There are no bullets! Well, there is an open door now. Awesome. Now that we're done berating General Pepper, let's move on. And this takes us to 
the Krozoa Shrine I mentioned earlier. <gasps> Probably the single fucking worst Krozoa Shrine in the whole goddamn game. Yes. You ready for this shit? Oh, I'm ready. Well, you fucking can't be because it's so fucking bullshit. Yeah.